Platelet-rich plasma is um, used to treat um, areas that are not healing. For someone who wants to get better faster, uh, platelets may be the way to go. Platelet-rich plasma can be used to treat joints, tendon injuries, single ligament injuries. In some cases we use it to treat muscle injuries. I usually describe this in terms of um, tiers of treatment. For example, the first tier of treatment for um, any type of regenerative um, uh, procedure would be prolotherapy, which I've discussed before. The second um, treatment would be platelet-rich plasma. And then the third would be some sort of um, stem cell. Usually when I'm treating people uh, with platelets, it's because their injury is severe enough um, that I am not sure that the prolotherapy will work, or um, if, it, if prolotherapy will work, um, the platelets may reduce the number of treatments. So one um, PRP treatment may be worth three prolotherapy uh, treatments. So the general cost for platelet-rich plasma is probably varies from about $500 to $1,200, depending on who's injecting and where you're injecting. Typically, people will have increased pain for about the first 24 hours after being injected. This may last three to five days uh, afterwards. Um, I always have people use a sling or crutches or um, some sort of um, device to help them um, keep the area that was injected stable. So if I treat a rotator cuff, um, it may be a day that this person's in a sling or it may be three to five days, uh, depending. At about um, a week to two weeks, a lot of times people feel really good. And this is the time period that I'm telling people don't do something that may injure the tissue. Don't go surfing two weeks after PRP because uh, after I've treated your shoulder just because that's going to just injure it. Uh, don't go skiing two weeks after I do PRP of your knee because you're at increased risk for injury during this period of time. It hasn't, the tissue hasn't had a chance to repair. This is just like you had surgery, except you don't have the big surgical scar and injury to the skin and tissue um, that occurred um, at the time of surgery. So it looks like you can advance faster than uh, you would normally um, from a, pr a PT perspective. But in fact, healing happens at the same rate, whether you inject through a needle or whether you inject or and whether you open up something and, and try to surgically repair it. The benefit is really at, at a year out. Um, and uh, that's uh, for full healing. It doesn't mean that's how long you stop exercising or you um, take a break from participating in normal activities. It's just that the, the full um, benefit is, is at that year period, or, or that's what we measure. Um, but more importantly, you just don't want to re-injure the tissue during that period of time that it's healing or remodeling. There are supplements that we also use when we're treating people with platelets. For example, um, the um, glucosamine and MSN are really important for joint arthritis. Antioxidants um, are important. Vitamin D is an important hormone um, that needs to be checked prior to um, getting um, injections because if your vitamin D level is low, you have less ability to heal. The addition of uh, bioidentical hormones, for example, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, melaton um, melatonin. Additionally, a great diet where you have a lot of antioxidants. Antioxidants comes from fruits and vegetables in your diet. That makes a difference. 